Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Omron CP1H uh, Advanced HMI Communications. So this is a free package that will allow us to create a uh, human machine interface or HMI um, on a Windows PC or it could be um, several other devices to the Omron uh, PLC so we can uh, control and monitor what's happening and also change what's happening within the PLC. So up here um, the first thing we need to do is if we go to our uh, website or into your browser and you can go over to Visual Studio and Advanced HMI works on Visual Studio you have to download um, that application and Visual Studio Community 2017 is the one you actually uh, want. It's a free uh, Visual Studio software package. So once you have that downloaded and installed, you'll have an icon that looks like this on your desktop. And then what, after that's all installed, if you go to Advanced HMI, we'll see a download here. And that download is currently at version 3.99W. And with that downloaded, then we can uh, uh, begin programming. So if we call up the advanced HMI, this is what it looks like. And the first thing we need to do once we have this called up is we select our main form, which is over here under Solution Explorer. And once we have that, if you go to Build and then you Build Solution, what that will do is create all of your uh, toolboxes here. And up there on the toolbox, if we go into um, the HMI controls, and in particular we have the advanced HMI drivers, we're going to be using the Omron Serial Host Link Com. So what we do is just take that and put it onto our desktop. Then from here, we can look at our properties. And under our properties, you see here, if I scroll up here, we have the baud rate at 9600, 7, even, um, and then we have COM5. And that comes for our device uh, manager in our Windows, if you look under what we're actually communicating with. So let's just uh, take a look. Um, if we look at our actual PLC, what you'll see is I have a RS... Um, USB to RS-485 converter and it's actually going into my communication port here my PLC and I also have um, a battery with my analog pot and that's going into my first input my analog input and I also have my LED display on my CPU which we will modify so what I'm going to be demonstrating is the fact that over here we have our start stop and jog we have a analog for our analog input signal and we have our LED display that we can display so we're going to be setting information and reading information from the advanced HMI application if I take a look at the program now um, in, CIS, er, in CX programmer now in CX Programmer, what we want to do, the first thing, is to ensure that under Settings, we have, um, under Startup, we select the mode Monitor. That's important because every time the PLC goes into, um, from Power Cycle, it will go into a default mode, and that's typically used Programming Console, which is the Run Mode. When you're in Run Mode, communications through the COM port will not change variables in the PLC. Because we're using advanced HMI to change these variables, we'll need that change to monitor mode. So every time it powers up, it'll go into monitor mode. All right. So let's just uh, take that down. And this is my start stop circuit here. So now we have everything ready. And you see I've just programmed that up. You'll see that if I have my start, and I look at my momentary button here. What you'll see is 
under the um, PLC address. Right here we have 21.0. Now, every time we use bit addresses within um, the advanced HMI, it will actually uh, take up the entire word, but it will turn on the first bit. And you see my comm communication is Omron host link, um, serial host link, which is what we have down here. So that's all tied in. And we have our stop, which is using address 22.0. We have our jog 23.0, and we have our output 100. What else we have up here is we have an analog um, signal here. And this analog one signal, if we look down on what our PLC is um, looking for, it's actually uh, the address is at D0 and we have a min and a max value of 0 to 100. So what we need is 0 to 100 and it should then register on my, my uh, gauge here what we're actually uh, displaying. Under my CPU we have a digital panel meter and again if I scroll down um, and we look at our, our COM address, our uh, value that we're going to be reading on there is from D1, data memory 1, and our PLC uh, address keypad is coming from D1 as well. So what we're going to be doing is actually writing. So it's going to come up with a keypad and that keypad will be changing and showing us what we can uh, change to. And if I look at um, my keypad, I have a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 256. Now 256 is because on the CPU unit I have two digits here. And those two digits um, represent a binary number and the most I could have is FF which is 256. So that's why we limit what we can enter in that, that value. So once we have everything up there we hit start and a couple of things. Here's my uh, display now and right now we're actually live it's actually working you can see my communication is communicating right here and what we can do is i'll just make sure that we can see our ladder as well uh, that should be pretty good we'll set it down here and what we'll do is um, because this is a start stop circuit Here's our stop already activated, so we just need to start from the HMI. And when we do that, we have output 100 turn on, and it's a nice display. We can then hit stop, and it turns that off. If we hit jog, the jog will turn it on. And as soon as we let go of the jog, it turns off. So hit and holding the jog, we'll turn it on and off, make sure that that, that happens. All right. Start, stop. All right. So now the next is what we're going to do is take a look at our analog signal. In our analog signal, we go back to our potentiometer and our program here. What we do is we have it always on. We do the scaling factor. So our scaling comes in in channel 200. We scale it, uh, data memory 0, 100. So if we call up the, the bits here, so what we're going to be doing is scaling from uh, 0 represents 0, and then 100 represents um, 1,563 in binary. So that's the resolution that we're coming in with our signal. So let's call up our HMI again. And what we'll do is as we turn this pot, you will see that our analog value is then increasing. And we can go right up to 100% or anywhere we want in between. So we'll leave it there. Eh around 33. So that's our analog pot. The last thing we have is our LC, LR CPU LED display and 
all we do is if we want to click this on our HMI uh, package here it will actually bring up a looks like almost like a calculator and in here we enter what value we want if we hit 5 and then enter what happens is it displays 5 on the HMI as well as 5 on our LED so if we want to uh, put the maximum number 255 enter you will actually see that we have the value of FF in there again what we enter here is in um, uh, decimal and what we're displaying is in binary so for example if the value of 10 we'll get the value a which are, is the binary equivalent all right all the links um, and downloads can be found um, below and also at our website at accautomation.ca and if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have you can subscribe to our youtube channel at the end of the video you can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website when you do you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site you'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging and the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.